Hi there, Jen Roke here from StampCampWithJen.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Summerfield, Florida, and today I have the most amazing embellishment organization tip to share with you today. I have a four by six photo album and I have all of my embellishments stored right in here with labels that show the name, the product number, the price, and whether they're online exclusives or from the annual catalog, as well as the colors. That is one of the most important things I had a hard time with was finding all of the colors for the products. So I had all of my embellishments just in the plastic on a little shelf. And as you notice, sometimes when you pull the plastic out, it tears, um, it just becomes like a big mess. So I made all of these little labels that you can find at stampcampwithjen.com. They're completely free for you to print out. Um, all you'll need is those labels and a top loading four by six photo album. Now, if you wanna use the one that I have right here, um, just go to stampcampwithjen.com and shop my favorite things. And you'll find the link um, on Amazon for this four by six top loading. That's the important thing with this is it needs to be top loading for your photos, okay? Um, so my Amazon link, these come with two in a pack. They're about 26 sheets, so you'll get about 52 embellishments per book. Um, if you don't need to, give one to a friend. I also have this little printable right here that you can put in the front of this album. It's super cute, and this is going to go on a shelf with my stamp sets. I just love having all of this in one place. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to print these out. When you print them out, they come in a sheet like this, two to a sheet. I just print them out on basic white cardstock and then just trim where the borders are, and then you'll just put them all in your booklet. And what I like is if I don't have the embellishment, I don't have it in front of the label. And that's how I know that I haven't purchased that one yet. And I don't buy additional ones that I accidentally, or that I already had. <laughs> um, so you can do it that way like I did, or if you'd rather kind of spread them out, you could leave this side blank and put the embellishment right next to the label if you want to do it that way as well. Um, so what you're going to need to do is for your um, embellishments, you will take them out of the sleeves and you'll just take it out of the little plastic here. And what I like to do is I don't like the little flap on the top. I just want everything nice and flat and neat. So I'm going to grab, I have a guillotine paper trimmer that I like to use. This one's by Tim Holtz and I also have the link for this in my uh, favorite things on my website. But I'm just gonna take this and where that little crease is, I'm gonna just chop that top part off right there so everything is nice and flat. And now all I'll be able to do is just find the label that it goes with and then we'll just load it from the top in there. Now, most of the embellishments are about four inches wide, so you should need to trim it width-wise. You might need to trim it um, from the top to bottom because they may be a little tall. Um, but for the most part, they should just slide right in there and be about four inches wide, okay? All right, well, that is my little storage tip today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a comment. I would love to know what you think about this, okay? All right, guys, well, have a great day. Happy organizing, and until next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye.